International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. A 1998 landmark study reviewing the quality of care in the United States indicated that some 30 to 50 percent of care delivery was not in line with best available evidence. Is that a problem or does it reflect adaptive implementation of all that is known? Does it quantify the level of wisdom exercised in the care of this particular person? Hume defined evidence in broad terms as that which justifies belief. Evidence does not have to be true under all circumstances. As Popper pointed out, a single black swan refutes the common belief that all swans are white. Fundamentally, evidence is context sensitive and thus cannot be applied blindly. Evidence also needs to be distinguished from knowledge. Knowledge's constituent part are data, like a blood test or the number of people dying from a particular disease. Linked data create information, like the relationship between a blood test result and the number of people dying from a disease. Knowledge, on the other hand, emerges from evaluating data and information in context and creates what Michael Polanyi calls personal knowledge. These distinctions are nicely summarized by the American astronomer Clifford Stoll. Data is not information, information is not knowledge, knowledge is not understanding, understanding is not wisdom. How do these considerations then relate to the statement that a lot of care is not evidence-based? Let's look at a diagram. We have understanding on the one axis and context on the other. Understanding increases as we move from researching through absorbing, doing, interacting and reflecting. Contextual insights increase from gathering facts, connecting facts, forming holes to joining holes. Linking data results in information. Connecting pieces of information leads to knowledge. Wisdom arises from linking various sources of knowledge to a particular context. The relationships between context and understanding has an exponential characteristic and is associated with an increase in uncertainty which requires experience to help us cope. Data, information and knowledge reflect experiences of the past. Contemplating the right action for a new problem is future-oriented and results in novel practice. Information sharing and knowledge exchange are required for instrumental tasks, what Paul Drucker calls doing things right and must be distinguished from the contextual transfer of knowledge required to doing the right thing. Applying contextual knowledge results in good clinical care. 50 to 80 percent of standardized practice succeed by doing things right. The other 30 to 50 percent require the wisdom arising from deliberation. They are problems that demand doing the right thing. Practicing outside the protocol-driven standardized framework promoted by the evidence-based medicine movement is neither irrational nor ignorant. To the contrary, it shows mature and deliberative practice to solve problems within their contextual boundaries.